Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, today in this particular video, we are actually going to do image segmentation and object detection uh, from the live stream from webcam. And if you remember guys, in my previous video, I've already made a video regarding this image segmentation and object detection using five lines of code using pixel lib. Now we are again going to use pixel lib, but right now our frames, the live stream frames will be actually coming from webcam. And we saw that already guys like if i am actually trying to give this kind of output you know you will be able to get some output like this you know where you are able to see from the images but what if now from the live webcam stream i should also be able to do it and in this particular video i'll be focusing on that now before i go ahead guys i really want to announce two courses from iNeuron one is big data masters that is actually starting from 26 june june 2021 the timing will be 10 30 a.m to 12 30 a.m and the classes will be on saturday and sunday and remember guys the doubt clearing session is also there on 8 p.m ist every tuesday uh the time frame that will be taken to cover this entire course will be somewhere around four to five months and all the sessions will be live and all the recordings will be available for lifetime so here you can see the entire syllabus you can check it out and there is also one more course that is coming on the same day that is on 26 june that is business analytics and this also the class timings will be from 2 p.m to 4 p.m again it will be on saturday and sunday uh, and doubt clearing session will be on every wednesday from 8 p.m to 10 p.m again this all both are part of the affordable education where we are focusing on providing best live sessions considering this law uh, affordable part itself so please make sure that you check out both the courses i'll be putting the information in the uh, description of this particular video and definitely please do uh, register it if you are looking for this kind of courses now uh, let goes let's go back to the previous thing that we have done guys uh, if you remember we had used this pixel lab uh, so pixel lib sorry in this uh, we had actually done something like image segmentation right so something like this now what we'll do is that we'll try to read our video stream and then probably do image segmentation and pro also object detection so to begin with as you all know first of all you need to have this requirement.txt here i have written tensorflow gpu if you don't have gpu it's okay just remove this tensorflow gpu and do the pip install requirement.txt this is the dependencies so i am actually giving you this specific thing so please make sure that you install all these libraries if you really want to use pixel lib okay now let's go back to my app.py so here i have imported cv2 pixel lib and then from this pixel lib dot instance i've imported instance segmentation and this instance segmentation will actually help us do the segmentation with the help of this particular object detection model itself that is mask rcnn now if you remember from where did i download the mask rcnn you just have to go over here and just go and click in the releases of this repository and here you will be able to find this particular file that is mask rcnn right so just click this and then download this h5 file you can also get the source code you can get all the information from this in the form of zip file so now let's proceed and let's probably write the remaining part of the code and let's see that uh, how we can actually read with the help of cv2 so here i have already written the code for camera is equal to cv2 dot video capture now after this what i am actually going to do i am actually going to say while camera dot is open is opened so while camera is is opened i'm going to basically read the frames okay so i'm going to say return or uh, suppose this will be my result and two things that i usually get one is result and frame and uh, this will be camera dot read so now i'm actually reading the frames uh, from my camera itself So I'm reading the frames from the camera itself. So here you'll be able to see the frames and this will also be a variable which tells you that whether the frame is being read from the webcam or not. Okay. So after writing this, now I'm going to apply the segmentation. So apply the segmentation. Okay. And uh, remember, I already have loaded this segmentation model with this particular RCNN uh, and this is trained on the Coco data set, right? So now I'll apply the segmentation over here and I'll write result is equal to segment uh, image dot segment frame. So whenever you are actually using uh, video frames, you can definitely use the segment frame. And from the frame, I will be taking up this particular camera dot read frame. And then I will also apply the parameter which is called as show boxes is equal to true, right? 
so this will actually also show make sure that it will show us the boxes itself and then after this i am actually going to take consider my images over here and this result that i am actually taking we have to read the first tuple so see uh, when we are using the segment frame right it gives us in the form of tuple and the first first value that you are actually getting will be the frame after the boxes are getting applied right so after this i am actually going to write cv2 dot i am show and i'm just showing this particular uh, frame over here so i'll say this is my image segmentation okay and here i'm actually going to give my image that's it so this will now show me a cv2 box so basically a pop up box where i'll be able to see my images also okay now after this what i am actually going to do i'm going to say if cv2 dot wait let's let's apply some wait key probably for 10 seconds and i can also write uh, another condition and i hope everybody is familiar with this right is equal to ord of button q okay then i'm actually going to say break so just to come out of that particular frame itself right so finally i'll write cap dot release sorry it should be camera dot release right yeah camera dot release and then i am going to say cvt dot destroy i think this all things everybody knows that if you just google and get all this particular code also i think it will work right so this is our entire code what we are doing over here is that here first of all your mass rcn in the coco h5 file will get loaded here you are doing the main segmentation and this particular segmentation you are reading uh, reading the first image which will be having the boxes and you are displaying the boxes that's it okay so now let's go ahead and try to run it and let's show you how the output will look like so in order to run it you just have to click right click and just run python file in terminal so this will probably take some time you know based on the uh, cuda libraries and all you have so this will probably take some time so uh, once it runs i'll try to show you let's fast forward it so guys now you can see over here the masking is done you can also see the object detection probably i'll try to use the phone also i know the frame is very very slow uh, because again uh, it may be depending on your system but i think i can actually get this okay sometime it is see that chair is also getting detected right so amazing uh, here you can see that uh, i'm also getting detected over here uh all the information is coming like cell phone and all uh person right if i probably use book i think i'll also be able to see this let's see so this looks amazing right so okay this is showing as laptop backpack chair you know so color determination everything it's coming up uh, the accuracy again it depends on the how quickly how good you are actually getting all the frames itself right so yes uh, this was it from my side guys and yes just try to do it from your side and try to see whether you are able to get this kind of image segmentation or not but at least this is very 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 fast now in the upcoming videos i'm actually going to show you how quickly you can train your model and probably do the live stream from video cam and all also right um for custom training part also i'll try to show you so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye